I remember when I first decided to go vegan. It was an extremely difficult time mentally. Adjusting to the change and dealing with the grief of both knowing the truth and also grieving to the life I used to lead. I was full of rage and trying to discuss why I was vegan was extremely difficult. It always led to confrontation and aggression because I didn't know how to effectively get my message across. I'm assuming you may have gone through something similar or you're still struggling to talk about veganism effectively. If you're looking for a few tips on how to start talking about veganism with the outcome of positive change, you've come to the right place. Now, there are two major points I want to talk about in this video. Number one, the communication process. And number two, the barriers to effective communication. Let's start by looking at the communication process. In every communication process, there is your sender, the message, in this case discussing veganism, and then there is the receiver, the person you are delivering your message to. Then there is the feedback loop. The feedback is a very important part of the communication process, as it will inform you whether or not the message was received as intended. Now this is the hard part and the key idea you need to take away from this video. Not just when talking about veganism, but any form of communication. That idea is, communication is not about the intent, it is about the outcome or the result of the communication. So your goal when communicating veganism is to get a positive outcome. But this is a tricky part, as you're aware of. This topic can tend to be a difficult and awkward discussion to have. But what result are you looking for? The minimum you should be aiming for is that the person you are trying to communicate with at least begins to think about veganism, rather than what is this person talking about. To understand how you send this message effectively, you also need to be aware of the main barriers to effective communication. These barriers are, one, the perceptual cultural, two, emotional, three, environmental, four, your own listening skills. Now, number one, perceptual cultural barriers. This one is identifying the fact that eating meat and their byproducts is an ingrained belief. One which is taught from birth and accepted by the majority of people. So delivering to someone who doesn't understand and truly goes against their belief can cause friction. Now this is the hard part. You need to let go of your own perceptions and be open to what the other person is saying in the feedback. Which leads to number two, the emotional barriers. When emotions are high, it will definitely reduce the chances of communicating effectively. As mentioned in the previous point, being open to what the other person is saying is important and getting angry or aggressive reduces the likeliness of the person understanding the message. It also increases the chances of what you are saying to be misinterpreted. Your emotional state can lead to a reactive nature rather than a proactive one. It may be hard at the start to deal with people's defense mechanisms, but maintaining your composure is extremely important. Number three, environmental barriers. Be aware where you are when communicating this information. Being confronted with difficult discussions can be overwhelming in certain environments. The other thing to note is a lot of these discussions happen in the social media realm. Unfortunately, tonality and nonverbal cues are lost in the process and are quite important when framing this discussion you are having, so be aware of that. Number four, poor listening skills. This one is probably the most important of the lot. Remember to listen to what they are saying back to you. This feedback is the most important part of communicating effectively and will allow you to mould the communication process, especially if you maintain the first two barriers, 
be open to what they are saying and remain calm. I hope you've gotten some value from this video in understanding the communication process and the barriers to effective communication. In my next video, I will be discussing how to have difficult conversations, how to prepare and how to deliver your message. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to get the next video in the series of Speaking Vegan.